I know we have a lot of nonprofits in the house, and there's obviously different groups. How many of you actually have a development team that helps you to do this planning? A few of you. How many of you don't? That's right. So that's where my story comes in. I'm the very lucky uh, CEO of Trinity River Mission, and I've actually been in this agency for 33 years. I started as a six-year-old. Um, so <laughs> it kind of helps. It kind of helps to know. And so when I came into this position with a, grand, a brand new team last year, we've been doing North Texas Giving for quite a few years. Um, and frankly, it was sort of a struggle for us because it comes right, at, right before uh, Giving Tuesday, and it comes right before our fundraising time, and then right before the end of the year. So we were, speaking of saturating our, our donor base, we are like, what do we do? What can we do as a small nonprofit with 18 people and one development person? How can we make this work for us? So we ended up doing some thinking and in-house, and we decided, you know what, wait a minute. This is TRM's 30th year as a nonprofit. We have 30 seniors graduating. We need scholarship money, and our goal is to get our kids to graduate from college and to go on and pursue uh, uh, higher degrees and become successful in life. So why don't we focus on 3430? Seems like a very simple thing. So what we did is we ended up gathering our 30 seniors that were graduating from the class of 2019. And our, our one team member in the marketing department literally interviewed all of our students and wanted to capture from them the impact and the message that they have, not only in wanting to go on and pursue their education, but also in how and the, how this was going to make it possible for them and what they plan to do. So our theme for the 2018 became My Education, Our Future. We ended up doing the interviews on all these seniors. We posted these uh, videos on there. Messages coming directly from students is very, very, very powerful. But we all know we can't get those uh, all the time. But I would definitely encourage you to do that. So... If you don't know who TRM is, we've been around since 1960s, and our focus was to help the Native American population that was coming, um, being pushed south to integrate into the West Dallas neighborhood. In the 80s, we predominantly became a, a largely Hispanic organization because we were pretty much right in the housing area uh, with that community. Today, we are at the Habitat for Humanity building at the, at the corner of Singleton and Hampton. We're serving over 550 kids, uh, approximately about 600 a year, with over 500 on our waiting list. Because of this campaign, we've been able to increase our, our scholarships. We've been able to increase the number of kids that we serve in this program. And it all started with just simply figuring out what we could do as a small nonprofit to share our story. And this platform that North Texas Giving sets for us gave us that ability to go and share who we are, what we're doing, and how this is impacting our kids. So additionally, um, as we did this message, we focused primarily on the seniors. We wanted to focus on giving them a platform to give them a voice. So after interviewing all of, all of them and what they were planning on doing with their school, we also went ahead and take, took advantage and have, had them say a thank you message so we could have that ready for us when we sent out our, um, our notices at the end of our, our campaign. But this was really, really powerful because for these seniors, it also gave us the opportunity to explain to them how fundraising works with nonprofits. And being a product of nonprofits, I assure you, I had no idea it took this much, ma this much magic. So um, it really is helpful to the students, and it really gives us a way to, to see how we can help. And a lot of the ideas that we had moving forward with this project were actually coming from them as well. Um, we started by doing three posts a day, uh, I'm sorry, a week. And then as the time progressed, as we got closer to the, the actual campaign, we started putting uh, daily messages with new messages from our students. And then the day of, we started doing messages every one or two hours. Um, some of them were some of the messages that had been done earlier on in the campaign. But it really proved to be one of the most powerful um, messaging that we had, and it brought, it, it brought us double what we had gained before for over 55,000 that we recruited from this campaign. So that was really exciting. The other component that we had is that we brought a, an alumni student. So we uh, interviewed an alumni to see how this program had beneficial, benefited them. And we had a student named Georgette Rojas, who's actually a very near and dear 
a child of mine, and she is our very first doctor. She just finished med school, and she's going on to, uh, she's going to start her residency. So she, we interviewed her about how this program helped her and how she, this was making her dreams come true. And I just realized I wasn't clicking on any of this because I was just so carried away with my message. So I apologize, but this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so these are some of the messages that we had, and these are, Eddie is remarkable. I mean, this guy was talking about him wanting to, to make his dream a reality and being a scientist. We had Georgette out there talking about how she accomplished her dream. And it was just little messages like this that really helped us to achieve that, um, focusing it and targeting it specifically to our seniors and to what they were going to be doing, um, again, with the messages and little uh, written notices that we put on there. These were also some of the things that we sent out in the mail. Uh, we did a peer-to-peer -peer funding as well, so part of our initiative is not just looking at the high-dollar people, but also looking internally at your small dollar, because every dollar counts. It takes a village to raise a child, so we need every single thing counting towards that. So we actually went to our board and also had them do a peer-to-peer -peer call out to their friends. We did it with our students. We did it with our parents. We did it with our volunteers. So we were able to spread our message across so many platforms by just keeping this one single thing and letting everyone know that hey, your voice has power, your contribution matters, and it can make a tr huge impact in the life of a child. Uh, as I mentioned, we customized our theme, so everything about North Texas Giving was directly correlated to the uh, college attainment and high school graduation that focused on our Believe and Achieve program. And this was really important because, again, we wanted to make sure that it was something focused, something that will help us to uh, raise funds. And because our kids are excelling and our kids are going for those Ivy League schools and are really making our, our job a little bit more difficult in raising money to ensure that they're thriving, we wanted to make sure we focused it directly on what their needs are and what they're trying to achieve. So thankfully, we were able to do that. And I would frankly would be doing a disservice to any of y'all if I was to say all of this was possible without much work. It definitely takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication. I do want to give a shout out to Stephanie, who's in the audience right now. Hi, Stephanie. She was the one that made all this magic happen, was single solo person with the rest of the team. So. Um, it is definitely possible and is definitely something that we can all do is just really trying to think outside the box and target your, your idea into some focal that will help you raise more money. So hopefully you will have a successful campaign such as we do. And thank you, Communities Foundation, for allowing us to share this with you.